The banded or zebra mongoose is commonly found in the central and eastern parts of Africa. Their striped bodies blend in with their environment, which protects them from their biggest enemies, birds of prey. They're very social animals and often go hunting for mice, insects and other small animals in groups of 30 or more. To stay in contact with each other, they use a wide variety of sounds. When babies are born, they hardly weigh anything, but grow very quickly to adult size within six months. Their favorite food is worms, along with insects, centipedes, lizards, frogs, and sometimes mice. They dig up their food with their strong claws, and sometimes they also eat roots and fruit. But one of their favorite snacks is a bird's egg. Christian Matshai, who helps take care of the mongooses at Friedrichsfelde Zoo, now takes care of six adult animals, three females and three males. Christian says that because of the social structure in mongoose groups, it's nearly impossible to tell if the babies come from one, two or three adults and who the fathers are. All of the adults take care of all of the babies. However, members of each group can recognize their companions by the distinctive group smell. On hot days, the mongoose is only active during the morning and evening. In the wild, they have a close relationship with baboons and are often found in their company. The chain of command within the members of the group is based on age, size and confidence. We are very proud of the fact that we have had zebra mongooses since last December. We built the pen extra for them and then we were very surprised to see five new babies soon after. No one knew it was coming. The females are a bit fatter and we never thought they were pregnant. After a pregnancy period of only two months, five young were born. They were breastfed by all milk producing females of the group and all the adults like to play with the young. The banded mongoose lives in open savannas, open forests and grassland, especially near water. But they can also live in dry thorny bushland. It's hard to imagine, but these small creatures have been known to attack cobra snakes in the wild, biting their heads off to kill them. Just like the character Ricky Tikki Tavy in Rudyard Kipling's Jungle Books. They are great in the group, but in the long term they will go to other zoos. We participate in breeding programs, meaning that the animals will go to other unrelated groups so that there are a lot of new colonies. Luckily, this little mongoose doesn't have any deadly snakes to contend with. It's just practicing with its mum. Watch out, this little one is a fighter. It needs to be because the zebra mongoose is a threatened species and living in zoos helps prevent them from becoming extinct. <laughs>